Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NetCover and today I am going to show you uh, my membership plan and uh, my membership courses and that is a zero to hero courses and based on the real time projects and the scratch based uh, projects. So start from beginning and to make it professional projects. Okay, so started from the .NET Core and I have done a uh, uh, minimum uh, two to three projects in .NET Core. Okay. And now just started after that, I uh, I started uh, Web API projects, REST API project, and uh, just consume this REST API in the Blazor, Angular, and as well as the React. So in .NET Core, I have used Entity Framework Core and SQL Server. Okay, so uh, uh, lots of things actually uh, pending, and I will I will give you uh, project based courses in just 800 rupees and dollar 15 it is a full uh, you know uh, it is a uh, full stack development courses okay i will give you okay and uh, how to get this deal and how to get this membership it's a very easy step to do this first of all uh, i want to show you which projects actually i have done uh, in this membership right now that is MVC core projects. You uh, you will get it freely, uh, complete source code and the complete video tutorials. So MVC core projects is concert booking system with uh, the uh, fundamentals also. So fundamentals videos also give you and uh, MVC core projects like concert booking system that is repository based on the repository pattern, student information system that is clean architecture projects, student attendance management system and link building projects so these are the projects i have done uh, in uh, in asp.net core mvc that is based on dotnet uh, 6 and 7 and uh, now just after that i will give you microsoft blazor project that is bookshop project and now after that i will give you angular project that is also bookshop project and you know that uh, blazor and angular project actually consume the same api so I will give you API projects as well as well as the fundamentals of the API. So uh, you know, you know, guys, it's a amazing projects. Okay, in just eight hundred rupees, just fill this full stack development uh, uh, form. That is your name, your email ID, your contact number, transaction reference ID, order ID, or the PayPal ID, and that is course uh, courses fee. That is eight hundred. Uh, Rupees for the Indian users and dollar fifteen for the other country user. So you can choose this uh, ATM QR code, or you know that uh, for the eight hundred rupees for the Indian user, you can choose this QR code, and also you can choose uh, the PayPal ID uh, for other country user like uh, US, UK, and Australia. So just pay a dollar fifteen, and also you can use uh, my uh, PayPal ID. Okay, that's fine. Now, just after that, you will uh, find this uh, link in your video description box. So, must to check your video description box and fill this form and get the membership. In membership, you will find a complete video tutorial of these projects and uh, like Angular, like API, like uh, Blazor, like uh, and all. Okay, so that's cool. Now, just after that, I will uh, now after the it after it, I will show you uh, how to crack this uh, code. Okay. So here I am providing you the complete so Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to tell you about getting started of machine learning in this uh, series. So what is machine learning? Machine learning is a subset of AI that is artificial intelligence. Uh, how a machine learn? Actually machine learn from uh, experiences, machine learn from input data. So you can say that uh, that is AI that focus uh, machine learning actually building systems that can learn from the data and make predictions or decisions without being explicitly programmed. Instead of following pre uh, predefined rules, machine learning models are trained on the data to identify patterns and relationships, allowing them to adapt and improve their performance over time. So we have lots of examples of machine learning actually currently working in current scenarios so uh, you know that uh, real time speech recognition is a machine learning virtual assistant like a Giri, uh, like siri google assistant and alexa and also zemini and uh, and and many more and the next one is the real time fraud detection in financial transactions like example credit card fraud detections 
and all. Now the next one is a real-time recommendation system uh, that is Netflix, YouTube, Amazon, etc. Real-time object detection and autonomous vehicles like Tesla, autopilot, self-driving cars. Uh, Real-time facial recognition like uh, security system, air, uh, airport checks, unlocking phones, etc. Uh, Real-time spam detection in emails like Gmail and Outlooks. Real-time social media monitoring like Twitter, trending topics, Facebook content moderations. And real-time tra translations like Google Translate, Skype translators. Real-time healthcare monitoring like Fitbit and Apple Watch. And real-time customer support like uh, uh, chatbots and uh, Gendesk like Drift, etc. Machine learning types, there we have uh, three types of machine learning basically. The first one is the supervised learning. What is the supervised learning? Uh, in the supervised learning, we have some input data and uh, they are labeled output data and put to the machine or you can say that uh, 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 to teach the machine their input data and output data based on their machine algorithms. And uh, you know that in the machine algorithms, we have two algorithms of the machine learning like the classification techniques and the regression techniques. And uh, in the classification techniques, we have predicting a discrete labeled based output like a spam or not a spam in the email classifications. In the regressions, we are predicting a continuous values like predicting house price based on the features like size and the location of um, like this. And we have some, uh, you know, uh, examples of machine learning, supervised learning like sentimental analysis, image classifications, fraud detections and stock price predictions. So these all are uh, the machine learning algorithms. Now the second one is the unsupervised learning. In unsupervised learning, the model is trained on the data that does not uh, have labeled output. In previous learning, that is supervised learning, we have a labeled output. But in this uh, uh, super uh, in this unsupervised learning, we have not a, a labeled output. The model tries to find a hidden pattern or structure in the data. It's often used to task like clustering and reducing the dimensionality of the data. Examples clustering, grouping data into cluster based on the similarities. Uh, dimensionality reduction is reducing the number of features while preserving the essential informations. And we have four things like uh, uh, example of, uh, you know, unsupervised learning that is uh, anomaly detections, market based analysis, market basket analysis, recommender system and document clustering. Now the third one and the last one is reinforcement learning and uh, their uh, reinforcement learning is uh, better to choose right now because reinforcement learning is uh, uh, you know uh, used in uh, lots of things. Reinforcement learning is a type of learning where a agent interact with the environment like uh, you play with the robots and uh, learn to make decisions by receiving rewards or penalties. The goal is to learn strategies that maximize the cumulative rewards over time. Examples, uh, game playing like AlphaGo, Chess, Robotics, applications like Autonomous Vehicles, Robotics Control, Dynamic Pricing in e-commerce, Stock Trading Algorithms. Now, uh, in this uh, series, we will learn about the ML.NET flow and how the ML.NET flow work. The first one is the load the data. Uh, if you want to design a, a program in machine learning in ML.NET, so you need to uh, add Microsoft.ML, uh, you know, uh, that is our new package in, into your uh, project as a library. And just after that, you can load the data and the data in the lots of format. We have a CSV, TSV and text file, database like SQL Server and SQL, C, SQLite, etc. In memory collections also, you can add uh, add it in the flow. So the first step is to load data uh, into the machine. The next uh, machine learn the data but uh, before learning the uh, model or you can say before train the model you need to pre-process the data. I mean to say that you can uh, you need to transform the data. Data often requires pre-processing before training a model. Common tasks include like uh, converting categorical values into numerical representation and the next one I mean to say that uh, converting categorical values into numerical representation I uh, I mean to say 
if you just type it i love you and i hate you uh, machine can't understand it because machine understand only numerical values so uh, the pre processing data i mean to say that converting categorical values into the numerical representation so that a machine can understand it okay now the next one is splitting data into training and uh, testing data uh, we have a methods uh, in ml context uh, we just uh, add a train test a splitting method so that we can uh, add our test factors and uh, we just why we splitting the data into the train and the test because i want accuracy i want a pre, uh, accurately uh, predicted output is accurate so so that we can uh, split the data into uh, uh, you know that uh, 2% uh, based uh, so so that 800 data for the uh, training data and the 200 data for the testing data so you just provide the 1000 records uh, to the machine uh, and on that time 800 data is used for the training data and the 200 for the testing data now the next one is choose that define a model that is the third step and in this steps we choose a algorithms okay select an appropriate machine algorithm based on your task uh, regression algorithm the first one is regression algorithms like a fast tree for predicting uh, continuous values classification uh, like algorithms like logistic regression or sdca logistic regression or binary and multi-class classifications Clustering is uh, algorithms like uh, k-means for grouping data into clusters. Now the next one is to train the model. Uh, once the pipeline is defined, now just after that choosing that algorithm, you need to, to train the model. So once the pipeline is defined, you train the model using the training data and ML.NET will learn the pattern in the data. Now the next one is evaluate the model. Evaluate I mean to test the, uh, test the model. After training, the model should be evaluated to check its performance. Evaluation is done on the testing data set, data that are, was not used during the training. And number six is uh, use the model for predictions. Once trained and evaluated, the model can be used to make predictions on a new data. Now the next one is save and load the model. After training, you can save the model or later use and reload it when needed. Now, and the last one is to deploy the model. Uh, you can deploy uh, the model in various applications like console apps, web apps, desktop apps, and cloud apps. So that that's all. So that is the first getting started machine learning uh, chapters. And in the next video, I will uh, show you how a machine learning algorithms based program how to design it. Okay. So that is the getting started video.